Good afternoon. So the title of my talk is The Use of Ketamine for Treatment-Resistant Depression. Before I get started, I'll just show you my disclosure side. I am an investigator on an investigator-initiated study that has a grant in kind for supplies and genotyping only through AssureRx. That really has nothing to do with today's talk, but I, just in terms of full transparency, I do share that. I think the most important thing on this slide is to recognize that ketamine is not FDA approved for any psychiatric condition. So all of the stuff that I'm talking about today has used ketamine off-label. I have three main objectives for today. One is to describe the background of ketamine. We're going to review some key studies. We're going to look at things like efficacy and serial infusions. And then finally discuss some possible future directions. So we'll start by taking a look kind of at the past and where pharmacotherapy has been over the past six decades. And I think it's fair to say that we've had limited success in developing medications with radically novel mechanisms of action. Our current treatments have a slow onset and honestly relatively limited effectiveness. When we look at trials like the STAR-D trial, I think there's room for improvement as a field with regards to what we can offer patients. The pharmaceutical industry, however, is decreasing its therapeutic pursuits in psychiatry. It has poured billions of dollars into making new medications. These are not separating out from placebo. They're saying, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to go put my money elsewhere in medicine. That leaves the average clinician as well as the average patient kind of, well, what do we do next when we've already tried almost everything out there? Having said that, however, there is a resurgence of interest in the discovery of ketamine's effects, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I do want to make sure that we're all on the same page to get started, so I think it's worth answering the question, what is ketamine? So ketamine is FDA approved for general anesthesia and procedural sedation. Again, it has no FDA approval for anything in psychiatry to date. It is a scheduled three substance. It is a non-competitive antagonist at the n methyldeaspartate or NMDA receptor. Study after study has shown that a single IV infusion can produce a rapid onset of antidepressant effects. And this is what's gotten a lot of patients and a lot of clinicians excited because we don't have anything else in our arsenal that really produces a rapid onset of antidepressant effects. The mechanism of action, however, that produces these effects is an active area of study. And I'll show you one proposed mechanism of action here on the slide. And you'll see ketamine up top here blocking an NMDA receptor, leading to a, a stoppage of GABAergic inhibition, allowing for glutamate release and increased glutamatergic transmission through the AMPA receptor seen here in orange. Through downstream effects, 